بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد as we mentioned the fadl of dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal that is one of the most blessed things and one of the easiest things we can do and as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam there said Alayhi Salatu Wasallam that their dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal is better than the dunya wa ma fiha or kama qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that that's the best thing you can do in this dunya is being the remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and along with dhikr Allah Azza wa Jal Another important component of ibadah that we have to consider and we should never forget and that is remembering the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam and giving salams, salat on the Prophet alayhi afdal salatu wasalam because often you hear the people neglecting that Sometimes you mention the Prophet ﷺ and the, and the people as as if their hearts are dead. As as if they do not have to follow a Nabi wasallam, And they don't mention. Whenever, I don't care if you hear it on the tape, you hear it on the... Uh, wherever, wherever you hear it in, 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 in person or, or a radio or the internet, a, a lecture. Whenever you hear the Prophet ﷺ's name mentioned... Then say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Say may peace and blessings be upon him. Alayhi salatu wa sallam. And do that often. It's so easy. And there's great reward from it. As the Prophet alayhi afdal salatu wa sallam mentioned. In an authentic hadith. About the importance of giving salam to him. Alayhi salatu wa sallam. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said in a hadith that is collected in Muslim on Abdullah ibn Umar on Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma anhu sami'a rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam يقول من صلى علي صلاة صلى الله عليه بها عشرا رواه مسلم that in this hadith the uh, Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As رضي الله تلا عنه said I heard the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم say Whoever gives salat, salat upon me, then Allah will return to him Asherah, ten. Ruahu Muslim. Letting us know that there's great reward, barakah. Of sending salams upon the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. By saying sallallahu alayhi wasallam, which is very simple. And you will receive ajr every single time you do it. You will receive ajr. And that's why you hear a sign from Ahl Sunnah. As it, you hear kathra. Kathra to salat was salam ala nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Kathra. In a, in a lecture. In a, a, a dars, in a lesson, in whatever circumstance that they're speaking, you'll hear a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and you'll hear salat wasallam mentioned. That's remembering the Prophet alayhi salatu wasallam. That's following the order of Allah. 
tabarak wa ta'ala, that's seeking the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's sufficient for us. So don't forget to mention the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam often and say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And whenever you hear his name, train your children to say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because that's who we're ordered to follow. Atiyyullah wa atiyyur rasul, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says through all throughout the Quran. Follow Allah, or, or, or obey Allah, and obey the Messenger. Alayhi salatu wa salam. It's imperative that we do so. And it's for our benefit that we do so. As was mentioned in the hadith that the Prophet wasallam said that the one who sends these peace and blessings upon me, who says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, alayhi salatu wa salam, and the different ways in, in order uh, that there are to send, send those blessings upon the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, that Allah will give you ashra ten times. Every one time that you do it. And as I mentioned, it's a sign of Ahlul Sunnah. You'll hear a lot of this. You'll hear them mentioning a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And you'll hear them get, sending Salat wa Salam during the khutbah. Kathra. By so much. And that should open your heart. It shouldn't make your heart stern like, oh, why is he saying that again? Oh, I'm tired of saying Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No, be encouraged and know you're getting reward for that from your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as a real example that I lived through, and I'm thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have met this man who influenced me tremendously, tremendously although I only had a brief time in my life uh, to see him and meet him and sit with him. And my language, the language barrier was definitely there. I didn't have the Arabic language to really benefit like I would have liked to have. But meeting Imam Mukbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah Yarhamahu, taught me something I will never forget and I will keep the rest of my life and no one can take that from me. And that is a love for the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and sending Kathra to Salat wa Salam on the Prophet Ali after the Salatu Wasalam. And that's what you hear. If you listen to that man's lectures, that Imam, that Muhaddith, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, and may Allah bless him with Jannah to Firdaus, all you will hear is a Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa qala alayhi after the Salatu Wasalam. Wa qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's all you hear. Call Allah, call Rasul. You hear the you see you hear him mentioning the speech of Allah. And mentioning the ahadith of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And making kathra to salatu wa salam. And that right there instilled a love for me, for the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. And a love for saying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and sending the peace and blessings upon him. That's a sign of Ahlul Sunnah. Those people who adhere to kitab illa wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And encourage the people to do so. Those people are beloved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to make us beloved. That may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love us and forgive us and have mercy upon us. And bless us to be of those who are Ahlul Sunnah, Haqqan. That in this life as well as the hereafter that will be raised with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah bless us to be of those people. Because you don't want to be of those people who just pay lip service only. You want to be of those who really love the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam and may Allah bless us to be of them. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.